Yeah, it's totally tall. <laughs> Hi everyone, today we're going to be making souffle pancakes. We need eggs, milk, sugar, baking powder, cornstarch, and flour. Do we need an oven? No, we don't, but we need a frying pan. Yeah! Into a small bowl, we're going to add one tablespoon of milk, three tablespoons of flour, and a quarter teaspoon of baking powder. We're now gonna separate two eggs. I trust in my ability not to break the egg yolks. I'm just gonna scoop it out with my hand. And I'm just gonna put it here. You're now going to mix the egg yolks together. So I'm gonna break the egg yolks. Oopsies. And I'm just gonna stir carefully. Once they're all combined, you can stop. Now it's time to froth up the meringue. So I'm going to set it to low. Then higher, then higher. Once it gets to this stage where it's all frothed up, we can add two tablespoons of sugar. Yeah, the sugar helps make all the bubbles that the meringue is made up finer. So what we are doing is actually adding bubbles into the egg white. Yeah. So eventually the souffle can stand up. Yeah. As you can see, it can now hold its shape. It seems that all the air bubbles from the meringue are holding up. This is a stiff peak. I'm going to add two tablespoons of cornstarch, or any type of starch. So what does the cornstarch do? It makes it softer. It makes the souffle softer. Yeah. And we're just going to mix it by hand. So I'm just going to put it in and just mix. Well, look at that. They're kissing each other. Yeah. You just add the egg yolk mixture into the egg white slash meringue and mix, and you're done. Now we're ready to cook. You're going to need two molds that are five centimeters tall and 10 centimeters in diameter. Time to really have and turn on the heat, right? Yep. Then we're going to use an ice cream scoop and we're going to add three scoops to each mold. I'm going to turn the heat onto medium and we're going to add water. Add about a tablespoon on each side. Put the lid on. We're now gonna set an eight minute timer. Eight minutes has passed, so let's have a look. The souffle has risen up. Now it's time to test the top. Hmm, it's solid. It's time to flip it. Uh, One, two, two, three, flip. Miss. Uh, the tin foil is a little cracked. And that's the nature of the souffle. Once it's touching the cold air, it will shrink or deflate, right? Yep. One, two, three, go! Mm, this one's better. Well, the color looks perfect. Let's put more water and cover it up. Ooh, that is hot. Quick little steam. Okay, now let's set a two-minute timer. Look at this fog! Okay, two minutes has passed, so let's take this off. I want to see if it's cut. So I'm going to grab a toothpick, put it in the middle. Then I'm going to take it out. It's not wet, so that means the souffle is cut. Okay, let's eat it. Yep. We're now going to take a taste test. So we're going to pour the syrup on top of it. You can also put butter or whipped cream by the side to use syrup. It looks beautiful. Now it's time to eat it. Can I see the texture please? Yeah, look at the height of your souffle. Yeah. And how fluffy it is. The souffle is so soft, so fluffy, and so yummy. And I guarantee if you make it and succeed, you're going to surprise yourself. So if you like it, give me a thumbs up or subscribe. Bye!